G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Metal Cut Signs and Designs. And in today's video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Um, in the past, I've made some two layered signs. What we're doing today is we're going to make a five layered rural outback scene, and each layer is a separate cut file. And when you stack one on top of the other, you end up with a diorama, I guess, for the one of a better word. And the rural outback scene is 500 uh, millimeters wide and it's 300 high so the back layer being the sky the layer that sits on top of that will be cut out with a bit of a mountain range and then the layer in front of that will be the homestead with a windmill and then laid on top of that will be another layer that's going to have a stockman on a horse and then the very front layer will be the post and rail fence across the front. So these will stack on top of each other, the whole thing will be bolted together and the back plate will have a, a slotted hole in it to hang it on the wall. And the, um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll nest these five uh, cut files and I'll show you on the computer shortly what they all look like. And then that we'll, we'll nest this whole thing together, cut it out on some 1.6mm mild steel plate and then once we've cut each piece it'll be a matter of cleaning them soaking them in the cleaning uh, vinegar then we will paint them and as you'll see in the photo so the colors represent the different layers and we'll build this up into a into a nice picture so the um i didn't want to make it too big uh it's sort of a bit of a troll piece we've got a an upcoming local uh, markets so I'm going to take it there and see what sort of interest I get. And I guess in a future one you could make it bigger, but this one's just, as I said, a trial piece, so we'll see how that goes. All right, so I'll take you over the computer and I'll show you what those layers look like and how the cut files will look, and then we'll go on to cut them and, and then we'll, we'll, we'll go through the process of, of getting it made, painted, assembled, and we'll see how that looks. I'll, sh I'll show you that now. And this is the five layer design that I've done in Inkscape. Now the coloured sections represent the separate layers and if I just peel these layers back you'll see what I'm talking about. Now the top one's white, that contains the fence and the, and the rooster. I'll just push him out to the side here. Uh, the brown one, the brown layer is the horse so you can actually see, see it. It's got a frame with a with a cowboy on a horse there, uh, push it to the side there, the black layer being the homestead and the windmill, right down here, the green layer is a cut file that's got the mountains in the background, I've painted them green, and the backing plate, this is the back one here, this is the, to represent the sky. All these holes here represent how they bolt together, so once I've cut each piece, this is the easiest bit to cut, there's nothing, there's nothing to cut out of that one. Uh, the mountain range, that will be, you'll see you'll just cut out that piece. Uh, what was next? The, this is the homestead with the windmill, so that'll sit over the top and you can see how the colours are building, building up. And the cowboy, and there's one here, I painted him white to get an idea of what it's going to look like. I'm thinking I might paint that chook red but we'll see how we go. So that's that's the five layers that I need to cut and that's how it, it will look. But I am considering painting this border here black and just leaving the fence post, fence rails to be white. So I'll decide on that when I actually get to um, get to the paint stage. So I've got the MyPlasm software open. We then go ahead and find the file we want. So I've got the five layers I've actually got two versions of the backing plate and I think I'll use the updated version which has got a little hanging hook on it. So we'll nest this, so we'll choose the, it doesn't really matter which, which order I do it in. I think we'll take the mountain sheet and we'll put that in there first and I'll import that. Now that's too big, I'll just change the size, I want them all to be 500. So that's 500 by 300. What I'll do is I'll bring another piece in and I'll put it on top because that's 500 wide, 300 high. 
I'll stack four of them high because I've got 1250 mil of sheet. So we'll take the mountain, we'll take the homestead, we'll add this one in, change the size to 500, and I'll bring that over and stick it over the top. So that's two layers. The third layer will be the cowboy. We'll bring him in too. Again, just size it correctly. 500. All right, we'll bring him in and plonk him there. So that's, the th that's three layers. The fourth one will be the fence. I'll bring the fence in now. Again, we'll size it 500. And when we do that, it sizes them all to the same. got those four there and then the final one I'll bring in is the I'll use the backing that's got the little hanger on it so I'll bring it in as well now I know that's 500 wide what I will do with this one is I'll actually rotate it 90 degrees to fit it up against here so I'll rotate that bring that in here position that there happy with all that we'll then go okay I'll now have to align the torch on the on the sheet where it's going to go and then we can tell the software where it is so the torch is positioned in this front left corner of the uh, sheet of material so we come over here to the cutting software and we position the torch here so we tell it that's where it is in the bottom corner which it is so now we've chosen our parameters we've just got to turn the cutter on thought I had right so the cutters turned on the compressors on and we read hit the start button so we'll hit the start button away it'll go Now the cuts are finished, I should be able to lift these pieces out if I can. Alright, so there's the, that's the mountain piece, oh, and that's the, the waist. Alright, this is the, uh, oh cool, this is the homestead and, homestead and windmill. That's the set, that's another layer, I'll show you that there, that's that layer. Uh, we've got the the horseman, the stockman, whatever. That's him. So that's him there. So, uh, yeah. Here we've got the fence. The, right, here's the here's the fence with the rooster on him. Put him up here. Okay, there's the fence with the rooster and the backing plate. Now I mentioned. I've gone for a modified backing plate and I've put that little mounting tab on the back. So that's it. Okay, so that's how it looks. Take them all outside, clean them. And I'll just show you how it looks together before I actually go ahead and soak them. But uh, yeah, please so far the way they've come out on the table. Now the next step in the process is to go over backside and frontside 
and just clean off this dross or slag. It's, it comes off pretty easily anyway. Uh, I'm just using I'm using my four inch grinder with a uh, a wire cup wheel, and that does a really really good job at cleaning all the uh, all this dross off. So I'll get on with that. I won't bore you with all the all the cleaning process. I'll come back and show you how it looks when all the pieces are cleaned, and I'll just trial assemble it and show you how it, how it will appear. I've cleaned all the five pieces and I've laid them all together just to give you an idea of what it looks like. Um, yeah, you can see that that's, there's, there's the top one, uh, that's the the, the uh, stockman, and then underneath that is the, the homestead with the windmill, and then the mountain in the background, Oop, is he, and then the base plate, so the background. Yeah, so they all line up, oh, those holes do line up. Um, so next thing to do now is to get the pieces into the cleaning vinegar and once they come out of there I'll be getting some paint on them they'll all get undercoated and then I'll paint each individual piece the colour as seen in that earlier photo alright I'll get on and do that then and now that all the five layers are painted I'll just give you a quick look at each of them that's the uh, the blue sky background and the next layer being the uh, mountains in green and this is the homestead and windmill on top as the third layer and this is the uh, stockman layer on top and if I can do this one-handed all right and this is the top layer with the fence and I painted the rooster red so that's how it is I've just got to bolt it all together and that'll be finished and I'll show you how that looks once it's bolted up so my five layered outback scene is all finished and I'm really, really pleased with how it looks and we'll be taking it to the markets, which is tomorrow actually, and we'll see if we get any interest in it. So if you like the video, let me put this down, it's heavy. So if you like the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button will be down here and don't forget to give the bell icon a ring and you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comments below. I'll certainly get to answer all those for you. And if you haven't seen the video series of how I made the plasma cutting table, I'll put a link to the playlist here somewhere and you'll be able to check that out. Uh, one more thing, uh, I do appreciate the support I get from everybody, but if you'd like to buy me a coffee, there's a link in the description below and I appreciate you know, all the help that I can get with the channel. So that's it for this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.